China has spent huge sums of money to build a 2 trillion ton super laboratory, which is buried 700 meters underground, and has won three world's best as soon as it debuted, shocking the whole world. It is the neutrino laboratory built by China in Guangdong, next to one of the largest nuclear reactor complexes in the world. What does this lab study? What can it bring to our lives? Moreover, it is said that if China would win the Nobel Prize in Physics in the next few years, the most likely candidate will come from this neutrino experiment in the remote mountain areas. Can it really win a Nobel Prize? Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Kaiping's neutrino experiment is a national treasure. It has been nearly 10 years since the project was established in 2013 and the infrastructure started in early 2015. However, in Guangdong, its fame does not seem to match its status. Getting into the neutrino laboratory 700 meters underground is not something you can do with your feet. To enter the largest underground experimental cavern in China, you need to take a small train pulled by a winch cable, slide down a 1,266-meter inclined shaft tunnel, and slide down to a depth of 700 meters underground. People who stand on the flat section of the inclined shaft for the first time will start to get lost from here. It is like being in an underground labyrinth. Coming to the interior of the laboratory is like standing on the edge of a bucket with a depth of 71 meters, and a span of 49.5 meters. There is a huge steel structure sphere in the middle of the bucket. Next, they are going to install plexiglass balls in this sphere, and when the plexiglass balls and catcher, photomultiplier tubes, and other equipment are installed, they will start filling the buckets and balls with water. The scientific researcher said, the rumored news of irrigation on the 27th is wrong. It is from that day that we will make plexiglass balls. The cleanliness requirements of the installation environment during this construction process are much stricter than those of steel structures, especially for plexiglass. During the polymer annealing process, dust can affect the quality of the installation, so we have to reduce human interference as much as possible. This ball is the heart of the entire neutrino experiment. Everything that happens in this ball in the future may be a key to unlocking the mystery of the universe. There are actually three types of so-called neutrinos, which account for a quarter of the 12 basic particles that make up the material world. It is very strange. It is not charged during walking, weighs only one millionth of an electron, and moves at a speed close to the speed of light. Compared with it, nuclear radiation is not worth mentioning. Nuclear radiation particles can only travel 10 centimeters in pure lead material. So people use lead to shield nuclear radiation, but neutrinos can travel through in an instant without worry, with amazing penetrating power and harmless to the human body. In addition to the constant release of neutrinos by the sun, other stars, including the earth, and even people will release them. But none of these sporadic releases are as stable as nuclear power is during fission. Neutrino also has a characteristic that it will oscillate during the propagation process, and the neutrino oscillation effect from the reactor is most obvious at 50 km to 55 km. The location of the laboratory is 53 km away from the two nuclear power plants in Taishan and Yangjiang in Guangdong, so the neutrinos released by the two nuclear power plants will theoretically oscillate in the laboratory. When the stable neutrino beam from the two nuclear power plants propagate here and oscillate, this is the best capture and observation point, and the 700-meter deep burial is to shield the interference of cosmic and other rays. In fact, the water injection mentioned by the outside world is indeed correct, because different waters are indeed injected into the bucket and the sphere, the outer layer is ultra-pure water, which can detect neutrinos and shield other interference signals. Liquid flash water is injected into the glass sphere. If neutrinos react in this liquid, fluorescence will appear. Therefore, the photomultiplier tubes densely distributed outside the sphere will capture these shimmering light and convert the light signal. The pulses are converted into electrical signals, which are saved by the data acquisition system and provided to physicists for neutrino analysis. This means that when the experiment starts, no light can enter the interior of the experimental sphere. Any artificial light source, or even any dust brought by it will bring wrong references to the exploration of the unsolved mysteries of the universe.
What the neutrino experiment will bring about is actually difficult to answer at present. Its significance will not be as important to human society as the discovery of fission or atoms and neutrons, but it may be a key for us to understand the origin of the universe. For example, when we are studying the universe, some energy cannot be found, so where does this energy go? These energies may be related to neutrinos. The Big Bang theory believes that the explosion occurred at a point. After the explosion, if both positive and negative matter are equal, the point is surrounded by a chaotic energy body, and the chaotic things cannot evolve into the galaxies or planets we see. Therefore, people who study neutrinos believe that neutrinos broke the balance of the Big Bang which caused the universe to form planets and galaxies, which are visible to the naked eye, during the evolution of the universe's subsequent expansion. Whether it is neutrinos or cosmic detection, they belong to basic research in the field of science. Therefore, this project is also similar to Guizhou's 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope. We can only study the nature of matter itself first. As for how to master and utilize it in the future, we can only talk about it later. Since the discovery of neutrinos in 1956, for physicists of different nationalities have won the Nobel Prize in physics in this field, but the huge team and national strength behind a Nobel Prize winner are often ignored by everyone. In the next step, the neutrino experiment will also drive the science and technology industry in Jiangmen. In addition to the construction of the Neutrino Science and Technology Science Exhibition Hall, an international science town will also be built. The local government plans to make it a back garden of Chinese Academy of Sciences, a new branch, a science and technology development center and an international convention and exhibition center. It will also drive the construction of a research and innovation city and attract high-end talents. The most deeply buried secret in Guangdong is 700 meters underground in Kaiping, Jiangmen. Above 700 meters, it is the wind, rain, and loneliness of the world, and it is the vicissitude of this land in Kaiping. Below 700 meters, there are rainbows and encounters in heaven, and it is the romance and expectation of researchers looking up at the stars. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. We will see you in the next video.